Alright guys, here we are in round two. We will not mulligan this hand. Uh, this hand's actually pretty solid. Um, add an island. Hypersonic Dragon's a dead card right now, but we'll play out the Guild Mage. Seller of Songbirds is a thing. Unfortunately, that makes our, uh, what's it called, like, really awkward. But, here, I mean, we could swing in, but that seems terrible, so we'll just play out the Tower Drake. He's not going to do anything. This looks like eyes in the skies. Um, pump. 2, 2, 3. Trade for 2 birds, basically. Hi. He said wait. Confused. Good luck. So this looks like eyes in the skies, um, which means that he would double block here. Uh, triple block rather, we would kill two birds. We'd basically trade Tower Drake for Eyes in the Skies. Um, which is a little awkward. But then we do have Hypersonic Dragon back up. Um, I still think we take that trade. Yeah, we'll just bash. If he has eyes on this guy, he has eyes on this guy. We'll trade it. Right now, we'll trade the Tower Drake for the um, eyes. If he wants to do that, he is. Uh, interesting. So maybe he has Pump Spell. Yeah, trading Pump Spell for Flyer isn't bad either, necessarily. I mean, I wouldn't like it to be that way, but if that's the best that he's got right now. He should be able to do better, plus that allows us to like throw out the hypersonic dragon eventually. If he taps out here. Let's play out the hypersonic dragon. Uh, gotta wonder if this is another bomb spell. Hopefully it's not. Nothing. Alright, solid. He didn't have anything at 5 mana, which is awkward. So maybe he's got Corsair Cord here. Slime Molding for 5. Okay. It's not the worst. Um... Here we could arrest the bird and just start getting in for a ton. We could also just swing in with the hyper hypersonic dragon now, blush or squall. Or inspiration now. Mm. Or inspiration, I think that's probably the play. Like, leaving up the blush or squall seems fine. We'll bash in. We can also an action injunction. We don't even need to blush a skull right now, honestly. 
That's why I didn't do it. Like, taking the five here is fine. You're gonna swing in with the seller, too. Alright, do we want to block here? If he's got a pump spell, is that what he's saying to us? If he's got a pump spell, what do we do? We don't do anything. Do we need the guild mage, though? It is an extra two damage, eventually. It's saving ourselves one right now. Kills it. We can then swing in. Inspiration, swing in for four. No, because this, this is dead next turn if he doesn't block. Yeah, so we just take this. We just take the damage. This is courses according. Yep, courses accord. Alright, so EOT, we're gonna inspiration. Oh, we really needed that land. Eesh. Okay, that land is good. Alright, so now we can. In action injunction, this bird get in for six, then blush to squall his team. Then we have like explosive impact anyway, so yeah, that seems fine. So we're gonna junction this. So we just need to get in one point of damage, and then he's dead to impact. Um, yeah, we will bluster skull right now. Yeah, there you go. Does that game? You could have perseverance, which would be awkward. Um. We'll swing at these two just in case he has one removal spell. Alright, that's game. Solid. Uh, Druid's Perseverance would have been really awkward there. We would have had to play out Doorkeeper, uh, arrest one of his oozes, and we still would have been fine, but it wouldn't have been the best. Um, so let's see, what do we want to bring in? We could bring in like Electricery for his dudes. Um, the one one flyers, but I don't think that's ne that's necessary. Uh, Keening apparition might be okay, although I'm not sure about that. Let's see. I mean, paralyzing grasp might be okay. Oh, I wonder if we want to bring in cancer or something. I don't think we do. I think the deck is okay the way it is. I'm not sure what I would bring out here necessarily. Like maybe the injunction, but I think we're fine. I think this this matchup is pretty good for us because we have two dramatic rescues. Uh, this hand is mediocre. This is awkward. On the draw, I think this is a mall. Yeah, this hand's better. Now the hand's a mall because like even if we draw two lands there, which is what we would want, our hand is still bad because we only have doorkeeper and uh, what's it called? We only have doorkeeper and um, hussar patrol. And then we still have skyline predator, hypersonic dragon, and explosive impact. Two of those cards need a, a color that we don't have right then and there, so that just seems terrible. That was a nice draw. The only thing is we're not going to be able. to... I mean, we just play at the vassal soul next turn actually.
If he wants a giant growth, that's fine with me. That's also fine. So, I mean, like, he kills our doorkeeper, but then we tempo. We get tempo now, so we can play out the vassal soul here. And all of a sudden, like, our 2 2 flyer is gonna start getting in damage. Um, and we do need to race him at this point. Because, like, once he hits, like, 6 and stuff like that, we're not gonna be able to deal with his creatures as well. Um, so here we just bash. I actually think I want to get out the fairy imposter right now. So that way we can have four power flying in the air to get through. Whereas, like, Hussar Patrol can get that Keening Apparition, which is fine, but then if he lays out, like, a 3-3, three, three, we're not dealing any damage. So I'll trade the two damage uh, against us to deal two damage to him, basically. Dramatic Rescue is a nice draw. Just in case he has an instant. I don't th think one exists at five. Like, creature-wise, he could have Avenging Arrow. Yeah, it looks like what he has. Oh, nope. He's gonna put a 2-2 into play. Okay. Lay out the patrol, block the Keening Apparition, because we have Dramatic Rescue for his token. Just in case we draw Knightly Valor or something. And he's got a pump spell. That's fine. Okay. So now we just bash in for some damage. Bash in for four. And we are winning this race. We'll wait to see if we if he has something to dramatic rescue. If next if he doesn't play out anything now, then we're gonna in action junction one of his guys. And then, um, try to draw into another threat. But, it, I mean, like, I'd imagine he has something here. Of course, it's a cord. Okay, so we're going to dramatic rescue one of these tokens. Roll an action junction, the other 3 3. It's a nice draw. We'll bash first. And he's dead next turn. That should be game. Yep, he cracks in. Unless he has a removal spell, in which case we still have the detain, I think. Even if we pop this up, yeah, we do. So, he's going to tap for a lot. Arc Weaver. That seems fine. So now... We detain this. Pop our guy into the air. And crack him for six, and that should be game. Yep. Yep. All right. So that is game. All right. So that was round two. Looks like we're about to head into round three. So I will start up the next video, and I hope you guys have enjoyed so far.